Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jesse here. It is August the 9th, a little after 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I actually did a post on here earlier this morning regarding something that happened yesterday that was all over the news, was all over social media, and it's probably going to be all over the news for the next couple of days, maybe even the next couple of weeks, who knows, but um, yeah, I uh, took a nap afterwards. I woke up just a, a minute ago. And YT took the video down. So that's the way it is. You know, you got to be careful how you say things, uh, what you say. This is why I try to be politically correct. And you see me kind of going around certain words, names, events, situations, because this is what happens. So anyway, this was my first uh, upload that was taken down by YT. So. A lot of people say that's a good thing because that means you are right over the target and, uh, you know, you're making certain groups of people uncomfortable. But anyway, um, what was my upload regarding? Well, a couple of you, thank God, um, was able to see it. I think I had three likes on it uh, in total before it was taken down, uh, maybe six views or something. So all the more reason to subscribe. Um, so you can at least get to see my uploads fast and, and quick and first, hopefully before any future one is taken down. But anyway, what I was talking about was the event yesterday that, well, actually, no, it was, um, no, it was yesterday. Yeah, the 8th. Uh, it involved the FBI raiding President Trump's uh, private residence in Mar-a-Lago in Florida. They went in there and removed like 15 boxes of uh, classified material, or so they say. Now, Trump wasn't at his residence. He was actually in uh, his um, hotel in New York at the time. I'm not sure if he's back at Mar-a-Lago right now. But uh, anyway, that was freaking out a lot of people. And uh, I also mentioned that yesterday was... The Lions Gate date that we talked about, August 8th. And I told you that starting on this day, moving forward, to be paying attention to anything big that might be happening on the news. And this absolutely occurred. And this is big, this is a big deal, you know, breaking news. And it seems to be a lot of what people are focusing now um, on in, in the mainstream media, especially. Remember, guys, that. Um, Oh, and by the way, they even broke into his personal safe. Very interesting. But remember that they don't want this guy to be around in 2024. They don't want him to run again, okay? They also probably see that because of him, his party is gaining a lot of traction for the things that are supposedly going to happen in a couple of months in November. So anything to slow down that progress that's being done, anything to stop what is coming, which a lot of people are calling a storm, a good storm, by the way, uh, when you think of uh, the end result, they're going to they're gonna pull all the strings, they're going to go all out, they're going to do whatever they can to stop this. And... It's up to us to use discernment and think, you know, how much to believe in the stories they're telling us as to why these events are occurring. Okay, what narrative are they trying to throw at us and are we going to believe it? Now, do you really believe someone smart like Mr. Mr. T, right, is going to keep 15 boxes around in his private residence of classified material that he's not supposed to have in his possession. Now, this guy is <laughs> constantly surrounded by Secret Service and, um, you know, police officers, people that, you know, you probably don't want to be doing illegal things um, around. Do you think he would just kind of keep these things around him? And really around them, if you think about it. And the answer is no. All right? So 
the question is now, what was in that material in those 15 boxes? And what happens when there is an FBI raid to the evidence that is gathered? Well, assuming that the head of our FBI is a good guy, and believe it or not, <laughs> I know the FBI doesn't have the, the best reputation right now for most people. There are still some people that say that this guy is actually a good guy. And that, remember, everything is calculated and we're watching a story. We're watching a movie, right? Remember, we talked about that. The music is getting louder. The beat is getting faster. Something's about to happen. The storm is coming. The domino is falling. The climactic event is right around the corner. And maybe yesterday was that first, uh, that first sign that this is absolutely something that's going to be heating up starting yesterday through what we talked about, um, you know, those uh, special things that happen in November of this year. So, you know, buckle up, use some common sense, all right? But at the end of the day, remember that everything's happening for a reason. We're going to be okay. And, uh, yeah, just take a deep breath, all right? Continue to pray for our country, for our world, that um, certain regimes start to fall, certain truths start to be revealed, certain events that look horrific to us, almost seems like a gut punch to us all, show their true light and show just how important and just how necessary they had to occur to wake a lot of us up that are still lost as to what's really going on out there. So anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week, huh? Probably a, an interesting couple of weeks, several weeks coming up. So keep your ears and eyes posted. And of course, I'll do the same. And if there's anything I feel like I need to share with you guys regarding that part of life and of the world, I will definitely come back on here and uh, do another upload. But I got to be careful how I say it. All right. Definitely got to be careful. So hope you guys start the week off well. Hope you guys are doing okay. And um, yeah, that's going to be uh, it for this upload encourage you guys to hit the like button again, subscribe, help this channel grow and uh, be exposed to more people out there that might be interested in some of this material. So I um, would greatly appreciate if you guys help me with that. But until next time, guys, you guys have a great rest of the day. And uh, I look forward to coming on here soon again to chat with you all about some more stuff, I'm sure. You guys take care of yourselves. Much love. From my heart to all yours. Bye.